Hey, y'all, how you doing? You, you, how you doing? Guess I haven't been posting videos on here very much, so, um, I want to get back into it. Now, since the last time I posted was the day before I left to go to the VMAs in L.A., and uh, the VMAs have been over for a while. <clears throat> in fact, when I got back, I got extremely sick. And I was out um, for a while. Until now. I'm a little... I'm almost 100% better now. I've just been resting and relaxing and recuperating from this amazing uh, journey. That was the VMAs. And um, I'm guessing you probably want to hear about how it went. And uh, I, I really want to tell you everything. So I'm going to let you know a bit of, of what happened. And uh, please, in the comments, ask me questions about the VMAs. Uh, because I won't know what to say to everything. Uh, so if I don't cover anything that you're wondering about, uh, in the next video I will address those questions. And uh, hopefully get you all the insider information. Passes. Look how many passes I've got. Um, these are all from the VMAs getting me into various uh, events and such and backstage. And, um, which is awesome. When you have one of those around your neck and you can just walk past security, you just, you feel awesome. Uh, it, and, and again, when uh, we touched down at uh, LAX, there was a driver who was holding my name up and it said, Bravner! And I thought that was really cool, too. I felt like a million bucks. Felt like a millionaire. Want to be a millionaire. But anyway, yes. Um, lots of things happened at the VMAs, like uh, the Radio Forum, which is a really cool venue, which, is, which happens like a couple days before the show. And all these radio personalities set up their booths inside this room. And uh, they had their radio station set up, and they all got their radio budget. Hey, it's Crazy Mike, KHJ 123! And the, so anyway, you get all these crazy voices going on at the same time, and the celebrities come in and filter through all the radio stations, and then eventually they came to talk to me. So my first interview happened there, and I interviewed about 20 people that day um, over the span of about three hours. And I interviewed people I had never heard of before, uh, the producer was like, hey, Andrew, this person's coming up. We really want you to interview them. Um, they're a presenter. Uh, their new show's coming out. This and, and just talk. So I got thrown into a lot of interviews, which I didn't even know who I was interviewing, which was a lot of fun. Um, and a little bit less nerve-wracking, because when you don't know who they are, you're not really intimidated by them. So, uh, but people I did know that I got to talk to that day were Natasha Bedingfield, uh, Tommy Lee, Dr. Drew... LMFAO, Ice Cube, I talked to, um, Sean Kingston, uh, Rick Ross, so it was a lot of fun, and, uh, you, I think only if you're Canadian you'll be able to watch the interviews I did on the, uh, MTV.ca website. Another really awesome part about the whole experience was being on the white carpet, and, uh, Essentially, it was red carpet, but the carpet was white, so we called it the white carpet. But I had a microphone, and I was standing next to Alia Jasmine. Uh, you might know her from One Girl, Five Gays, which is a hilarious show. Um, so we were standing next to each other and grabbing people from the white as they walked down the carpet to interview them. And I interviewed a lot of awesome people that day, too. It was like that radio forum that I was talking about, but condensed into an hour. So... Um, I guess there's a picture that really just explains the whole thing. Here, I'll show you the picture. And it's of this woman, who I didn't know who it was, but she was hugely taller than me and was wearing a feather dress. But Dane Cook is right beside her, and I had no idea he was there. Like, I was interviewing somebody that I didn't know who it was, and I missed Dane because I was too busy with this. So anyway, it was crazy. I interviewed, like, Kid Cudi, uh, Florence from Florence and the Machine, um, uh, Little John, uh, Jersey Shore, most of the cast of Jersey Shore, Bruno Mars, so, B.O.B., yeah, so a lot of people I talk to. Uh, if there's any questions you have about me talking to these people, feel, feel free to ask me a specific question, because... 
Again, I did so many interviews, uh, sometimes I don't even remember what we talked about, but uh, I'll do my best to remember if, if enough people want me to uh, elaborate on that discussion. And the actual awards were insane and happened so quickly because this whole week when, was building up to this moment and then it was just over in a flash. Like, you know, uh, I thought it was going to be longer. I really did. It, it, got, it was over and then I was just like, oh, it's over. That's it. I kind of got, I got really sad. I mean, we went to the after party and uh, Dane Cook and Jersey Shore were there and I was still having a rocking time. But at the same time, when the show was over, it was just like, oh, bummer. Man, and uh, anyway, the the watching the actual show was cool. Uh, I didn't see much because a I didn't have my glasses and two nosebleeds, nosebleeds, nosebleeds. But it was awesome. So yes, if you have any more questions about the VMAs, please feel free to ask me. I know I have a lot to tell you, and I know I don't want these videos to run ridiculously long. So ask questions, and I will rapid fire them tomorrow. I'm sorry I've been gone so long, I've been recuperating, and actually in LA I was awake at all times and had no time to post videos, so, um, yeah, please, ask me things, I will answer, and, um, I'm sorry I've been gone. You know, I think I'm having a problem with random fact of the day. You know, I'm kind of missing Pokemon card of the day quite a bit. I don't know if you guys are. But random fact of the day just doesn't feel like it's satisfying my thing of the day enough. I thought I would be, but the thing is, is like, I know most of these facts because I've read them already, but pulling a card out of a package and not knowing what it is until I do it is really exciting for me for some reason. And uh, I think if it's okay with you guys, I'd like to bring back Pokemon card of the day. So what I'll do is I'll be the first one to comment on this video and I'll say Pokemon card of the day. And if you want Pokemon card of the day to come back, you thumb up that comment. And if you don't want it to, don't thumb it up. And then I'll judge by the amount of comments how many people want it to come back and how many people don't. So I hope this works. If it doesn't, we'll work out something else. See ya.